Today, aviators spend an overwhelming number of hours on additional duties that pull them away from their primary role of operating some of the most complex weapon systems known to man. These additional duties entail navigating thousands of AFIs, regulations, and local directives, which ultimately leads to a culture of burnout, degraded proficiency, and eventually, operational mishaps. We cannot do more with less without providing our force with new tools. One of those tools is the Rapidly Adaptable Virtual Executive Network, or Raven AI for short. Raven can be trained on a set of publications stored as PDFs to provide precise, reliable answers with direct quotes from those publications. Raven also has the ability to generate media like memorandums, ESSSs, and emails in a matter of seconds with strict adherence to the tongue and quill. Let's now take a look at this demo in which I use an instance of Raven trained as an executive officer's assistant to coordinate a new OPR policy for the squadron. This is about an afternoon's worth of work that I'm able to knock out in about 60 seconds. I'm a squadron exec responsible for managing my squadron's OPRs for second lieutenants through lieutenant colonels. OPRs are due to the group six weeks before the SCOD for that rank. Come up with a plan to organize due dates for my OPRs in my squadron for this year. After some waiting, it has come up with a plan. So according to the 362406, SCODs and accounting dates for different ranks are as follows. 31 October for lieutenants, accounting date of 3 July. Captain SCOD is going to be 31 August with an accounting date of 3 May. Majors and lieutenant colonels, SCOD's going to be 31 May with an accounting date of 3 February, which is all correct. So for planning, OPRs are due to the group six weeks prior, six weeks prior, and six weeks prior. Absolutely correct. So it's telling us we're going to mark our calendar with the SCODs and then set internal deadlines of at least two weeks prior. Provides example dates, notifying officers and supervisors, and then it spits out the example timeline for lieutenants, for so just for lieutenants, and then a summary of key dates for lieutenants, captains, and majors and lieutenant colonels. Provides a reference and a disclaimer. So now building off of that, I'm now gonna ask it to draft an email to the squadron outlining this new OPR policy. So this AI is trained on the tongue and quill. So all of the emails, all of the correspondence are going to be put out in accordance with that document. So the email has key deadlines, by rank, actions required for supervisors, officers, and the review process, as well as internal reminders and an example timeline. Again, it will tell you to verify that with the official documents, but this is cut down on a ton of time, probably a whole afternoon's worth of work. I was just able to do in about 30 seconds. As you can see, Raven is a game-changing force multiplier. I've calculated that Raven can conservatively return two labor hours per week to each airman using this platform. In other words, that's 100 hours a year. 100 hours a year towards preventing the next mishap, attaining that next upgrade, or even establishing a healthy work-life balance. If you're ready to start giving time back to your airmen, please reach out to me at the email on the screen. For a more comprehensive demo, please check out the additional videos in the link below.